right. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. This is Anthony Smoke. Go ahead and check me out on anthonysmoke.com. Definitely hit subscribe here on YouTube. So today, uh, we're back in Tableau, and I've got this year-over-year -year sales trend analysis uh, that I want to share with you. First, I have to give a shout-out to Tableau Zen Master Ryan Sleeper. Uh, check out his blog. It's a really good tip that I, that I picked up on there, so shout-out to him. Um, in this year-over-year -year sales trend analysis, you can see that I have a, uh, a month year and I've got a sales uh, quantity or dollars um, by that uh, by that month and year so I've got a nice little trend here as you can see but if I were to color by order date right you can see again I have two different years how would I stack 2017 on top of 2018 right uh, if I want to look at that type of analysis right so what we need we need help from some sort of equalizer Okay, you know, something a little more this century. There we go, a little Denzel help. We need help from the equalizer. So let's take a look at this uh, calculated field that I already created. Right? We're going to take a look at that. So this equalizer date, uh, what we're doing is we're telling the order date. Um, we're, you're going to keep your same, order, your same month. You're going to keep your same day. But we're changing your year to 27 or 2018. So for my 2017 data, there's going to keep it same month, at same day. I only have two years in here, so 2017 is going to keep the same month, same day. But it's going to uh, the year is going to change to 2018. So that's great. So what that allows us to do, if I were to take equalizer date and put it here, get rid of month, um, and let's change this to month as well. You can see, boom. Um, let me change the colors real quick. Going to go in here. Let's make our 2017 gray. Let's make our 2018 red. Make it pop a little bit. There we go. So you can see I have 2017, right? Oh, did I? Yeah, I did it. No, I did it right. Okay, so I've got 2018, 2017 on top of 2018. I was looking at the month of equalizer date. So I've got two different uh, trends here on top of each other. That's the type of analysis that I want to see. So what if I want to take it a step further and empower the user to pick the level of granularity that they want to see? So we're going to create a uh, parameter. Let's create this parameter and let's call it uh, date granularity param. Date granularity param. And it's going to be a string and a list. And these need to be lowercase or it won't work. So we're going to go with day. Uh, we're going to go with week, month, quarter, oops, if I can spell, quarter, and year. Say OK. So now we have that date granularity parameter. Perfect. And we can show our parameter control here. That's fine. It's not going to do anything. Let's make this a single value list. It's not going to do anything because we haven't passed it to a calculated field. So now let's create the corresponding calculated field that will use uh, the values that we pass uh, from our date granularity parameter. And so we're going to call this, mm, let's call this uh, date granularity calc for lack of a better date granularity calc. That's fine. We're going to use the date trunk function and we're going to pass it um, the parameter value. So date granularity param and it's going to work on our equalized date. Right? And that calculation is valid. So what's going on here? So with the date trunk, date trunk, uh, it, it truncates the date to the date part that we specify that we pass in the function. So think of it as returning the first day of the date part that we pass it. So uh, if I select month here in for my date granularity parameter, and let's say equalizer date was July 15th, date trunk would, let's say, round back <laughs> to the first day of that interval. So if I selected month, it's going to uh, round back to July 1st, if this were July 15th. If I selected year and this was July 15th, it would round back, or July 15, 2018, I should say, it would round back to uh, January 1st, 2018, because that is the first day 
of the date part that I pass it, right, if I pass it year. So think of it as kind of rounding back or finding the first uh, day of an interval. So that's great from an aggregation perspective, right, because um, when I pass date granularity calc um, as a date to my columns, it gives the user control, right? So now I'm going to drag date granularity calc, right, to columns, get rid of month, and let's make this, let's make this month. Well, actually, I'm going to make this exact date. That's fine. Because now when I change this, you see, we've aggregated up to week. We've aggregated up to month, quarter, and year. So I only have two points in my year, but, you know, I can see. Let's take the sales price and put that on the label. And let's let's just do min max. That's fine. So now when I go to day, boom, I'll see the, uh, the largest date um, in my data set, 7.2 mil on that date. Um, and you'll see that my lowest was 3,390. So that's you know this is this is powerful right and let's change our let's do our format let's change this to uh, march 2001 right make that a little bit uh, easier to look at and then last but not least because we're not using table calculations in here which can be a pain uh, when you try and filter um, these are you know these are date values right so i can filter these if i drag equalize date or equalizer date uh, to the filters and you know range of dates that's fine one one uh, 2018 yeah okay so we'll, we'll go with that and if I show this let's show the filter I can change I'm just gonna right I can change that level here right and boom just keep on honing in shortening that time frame these will still work at a year and month right I only have two months obviously between uh, 11 1 2018 and 1231 but you can see I can filter with ease you know when you're trying to filter with table calculations it's such a pain so we haven't we're not using any table calculations here um, we're just uh, filtering on um, some dimensions dates so so again this has been Anthony smoke hope you found this tip useful uh, let me show you this real quick if you want to you know add a little formatting to it you know you can get fancy you know, this isn't really fancy but you know uh, if you throw it on a dashboard it does the same thing here right quarter year and uh, you know I can change my equalize dates so I can hone in. So in any event, this has been Anthony Smoke. Hope you enjoyed this tip. Get out there and do some great things with your data. Thanks for watching, everyone.